She apparently knew her friend was going to kill his entire family, but didn't do anything about it. Now she's facing charges as well. I don't understand it. I really don't, because I, I know Ryan and know there is no way. That's Ann Plotkin from back in November defending her friend, murder suspect Ryan Champion. Now she's charged with complicity to commit capital murder. Champion is accused of hiring Vito Reservato to kill his mother, father, and sister at their home in Katie's last fall. Prosecutors say Champion then killed Reservato and blamed him for the murders. There are reports Champion's attorney has filed a petition to withdraw from the case. A Madison family that turned to a home care company for help with their loved one quickly turned to News Channel 5 Investigates after they made a surprising discovery. The family says the home care company they hired never sent anyone. And then an owner of that company paid for a life insurance policy on their father and wound up named as a beneficiary. And what consumer investigator Jennifer Kraus found on the life insurance application and other paperwork has the family crying foul because he never signs any papers for himself. He's not capable of holding an ink pen to sign. If there's a perfectly logical explanation, why won't you give it to us? How did a home care company and its owner get tangled up in an apparent life insurance scheme? News Channel 5 investigates tonight at 6. We're mourning the loss of a broadcasting legend this morning. Longtime 60 Minutes and CBS News correspondent Bob Simon has died. Simon was in a car crash last night in New York City. He died soon afterwards. He started with 60 Minutes back in 1967, and his career took him all over the world, where he earned some of journalism's highest awards. He set the bar high for war correspondents in Vietnam and the Persian Gulf. Simon and his CBS News crew were taken prisoner by the Iraqi military and held captive for weeks. His final story will air this Sunday on 60 Minutes. His daughter, a CBS News producer, worked on that assignment with him. Bob Simon was 73 years old.